fooling around the piano, so it's almost as if you're a musician. For God's sake, you don't want that. Call me a musician. <laughs> well, here we are with uh, at least three people who are doing Manzilla in the same room, because we've been recording this album separately, and I uh, just finished recording all the trumpets with John Thurkle, A Man and His Music, uh, or, or often known as A Man and His Music. And, and, and here, sitting in the center where he should be, uh, is the man, the only person in this room with a six-pack, Edward Barker. Hello. Late of uh, parliamentary fame and now uh, going to be tortured in my studio very soon playing alto, tenor, baritone sax, and flute, clarinet, Bass and... Bass clarinet. Yes. Now... Looking forward to that. Yes, I, I'm very looking forward to that because it's you don't want to retard if you play the bass... Well, okay, we'll sure. okay. Sure. so, but first I want to talk to John, just because John was in the original Bandzilla, the original first incarnation of the band. There it is. <clears throat> and the deal is that uh, I just wanted to ask a little bit about the beginnings of Bandzilla, because John was there, and from the musician's point of view, how was this band received? Uh, I think... It's a great critical acclaim, Richard. Yes, I no, I, no, I mean, like, as a musician... Something when everybody bought the record. When, when everybody <laughs> I mean, the heard acclaim it, was critical. The acclaim was like, very critical. It was very, yeah. uh, what was the kind of uh, consensus amongst the musicians who were asked to suddenly take part in this? Uh, Richard's a lunatic. It was, I think, was the overriding yes. uh, sentiment, which yes. came from, from most of the guys. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, writing uh, things which are impossible to play um, in really difficult keys. Yes, um, extremely difficult. Somehow, it was an impossible job, but somehow we managed it. Yes, that's what you get from working with a guitar player. Uh, there we are indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Impossible keys. Well, that's great. And uh, uh, I just wanted uh, John to kind of explain how we recorded the first album as opposed to the second album, because we did it all in one room. We did, in fact, yes, that's right. Uh, uh, back in the day, uh, we recorded the whole band. In fact, we did the whole thing, as you remember, Rich, in, in a couple of days, up at Snake Ranch Studios in, in London. Yes. And you had assembled uh, a sort of, you know, the cream of the crop, as it were, plus a yes. few, uh, a few hangers-on. Yes. Um, and okay. uh, yeah, uh, and it's a pretty. I mean, it was quite a task to get all that stuff together in two days. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of people sight reading the stuff, and it's really yes. difficult, super difficult stuff. Yes, thank you. And uh, people yeah, they were doing. Uh, but I, and I think you know the results speak for themselves. Yes. Um, but of course. <clears throat> In the uh, the reincarnation uh, of Banzilla, uh, we are doing it with a much smaller squad, um, yes. largely for fiscal reasons. But yes. um, fiscal, but also but also for physical reasons for too. For physical reasons, yes. because he get I get to sit on his lap later. Indeed. No, Indeed. but the thing is that uh, it's kind of interesting that John is doing all the trumpets. So all of the trumpets on the record will have his interpretation of the phrasing, tone. The kind of uh, where to put the accents, where to put the dynamics. And so it's all coming from one guy, which makes it super tight. Well, yes. I'm my favorite person to play with. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, uh, as Woody Allen said, at least it's sex with someone you love. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, it is. It's very, um, it's quite a challenge because um, doing the trumpets first, we, as you know, we, done the, we recorded the four trumpets first, and then Ed's going to start on the saxes later. Um, and then the trombones are going to do back in London with Mark yes. Nightingale. But um, to be the first one to go, you know, I start fourth trumpet, third trumpet, second trumpet, and layer them up like this. Starting with the fourth trumpet, it's a little bit exposed. You know, I'm, I'm playing pretty much a low note. Something if, which you like doing. Indeed. If there's something which is, uh, which is needs, and the final analysis will be a hard attack like that. It's quite hard to start that process off playing a bottom C uh, you know, on your own, but but you know, you, you sort of imagine what else is going to go on there, and and uh, you know, battle on. Really. Indeed, and and I've got to say, the results have been absolutely fantastic, and I have had so much fun in the last five days multi-tracking yeah. with, with Uncle John. It's been but, it's but, epic. But now I'm going to start torturing this young fellow here, Ed Barker, and um, we've worked together a lot too. So why don't you tell tell the uh, tell the studio yeah, audience good. here? Uh, what, we're, what we've done together? Well, I think we met in 2008. Yes. My very good friend Nigel Hitchcock, the epic saxophone player who's also on the album. Who's also on the album. Who's also on the album. Yes. Uh, heard the solos for the first time today and they sound great. Um, he introduced me to you and uh, Richard originally gave me arranging 
and production lessons. Uh, that's how we started our relationship. Yes, yeah, so you learned very fast. I learned say. a lot of stuff. I wrote out all your scores, all those yes. handwritten scores yes. you've got. The old Banzilla. Yes. Actually, they were the originals yes, that you, you sat there and wrote by out. hand. Yes, Ed, 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 Ed yeah. took the score. Yeah, the football score. Ed took the scores, and because I didn't, at that time, I was very bad at transcribing stuff into Sibelius. And, okay. You know, so he took the handwritten scores and transcribed a lot of them, so that was very helpful. And it was a great start to my um, musical education. Yes. Uh, and then Every once in a while, he'd call me up and he'd say, Rich, you can't have really written this thing, can you? Yeah. yeah. He says, but isn't that wrong? Yeah. And I said, yes, but wrong is... Kind of fun. Well, you taught me that new way of thinking about harmony, which is a kind of triadic way of thinking about harmony, and just uh, uh, very, very interesting. So that's that's how we started. Then I yes. eventually did my own album, and Richard played on it, and we co-wrote a few of those tunes, yes, and, wrote, and we actually recorded it here in yes. LA. Uh, and then we're here today, and now yeah. it's my turn to play on your album. It's very exciting. Yes, thank God for that. Well, it's going to be fun. And I just wanted to show you this... Uh, lovely uh, ability for three of us to be in the same room together because so much of this record is being done you know through files being sent and in other countries and and uh, all of that but stuff. isn't it lovely to be here in LA at the bridge for the cicadas going in the back yes, yes. you can hear um, that noise perhaps yes yeah, it is lovely is that, yeah. a noise? It's really is that a noise when they rub their legs together it is yeah, yeah. They're, exactly. they're, they're very loud tonight. yeah why do they rub their legs together i wonder do they do it for fun or who knows? Who knows? But I have a question for you, Richard. Yes, good. Are these your books here? That yes, was, that was yes, the, it just uh, so happens. <laughs> I just noticed those books. Is, is this a shared Yes, the oh. Invisible Artist, Dreaming the Cake, and Sabbath, yeah. and the Interviews. Yes, yeah. they just happen to be here. I don't know how they are. Are there but, any um, pictures in there, Richard? Pictures? Oh, there's lots of pictures. Mm. Yes. Oh, well, that's, I should be... I should be heading down to the bookstore in the morning yes, to buy yes, yes. a copy. I, I'm going to be releasing the comic book version of The Invisible Artist soon. Indeed. So, yeah. And... Uh, and with this hat, I think we've covered everything yeah. now. And uh, yeah. good luck. Before Watch your space. We'll do it. <laughs> before we found it on the piano. Before we make a, an exhibition of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we hope to be exhibiting ourselves in front of you soon on stages all over the world. But until then, John Thurkle, Edward Barker, and I'm still Richard Niles wishing you happy Banzilla Inc. Can I use that as a verb? You can use it as an okay. adjective if and you can like. Give us a Should final we have a group hug? Get, well, we can do that, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's have a group hug. Oh, oh, yes. It's right. an excerpt from the album there. Yeah. And good night. <laughs>